Today we're gonna be working on the G35. This is that video a lot of you guys have been asking about. Where's the G35? It's not at my house. Where is it? Well, it's back here. It's been hidden, just in, in storage. Um, why is the G35 back there? Good question. First, let's take it out because it's been getting really dirty back here. It's been just sitting there and uh, uh, it looks horrible. I can't drive this. Luckily, Kuko's here to help. I am. We're gonna take it to his house and we're gonna clean it up. And then I'm gonna tell you more about what's going on with the G. So scratch that, everything you just saw. The car was dirty, it came out of the backyard. But uh, I, right after that, Matt called me, he needed some help at the shop, so I headed over there, and that was the day. Um, soon after that, my dad saw the car, and he decided to sort of clean it himself. He didn't do a good job, it's still really dirty. He probably scratched up the paint, doesn't matter at this point. Um, I still wanna tell you guys what's going on with the G, the updates I've already done, and uh, see where we're at now. Um, the car is less dirty than what you just saw, but that's how it, it was because it was parked for two months. Why did you was parked for two months? Well, the clutch was bad. Um, it had been slipping for like months behind. I haven't been driving it aggressively. I, I, I think I told you guys it was sli uh, slipping since I went to the, the drag strip and I raced John in his E36. Um, basically, I needed to change it and I did that this week. Uh, you guys didn't need to see that. You've seen plenty of clutch swaps I did one on a, another Z in the in the channel so uh, it's the same thing drop the trans put a new clutch in it I actually found this one on Facebook marketplace someone had bought a an eBay clutch stage 2 and they never used it so they sold it to me for $40 which is perfect because I didn't want to spend money on this because hopefully this motor will be leaving this chassis so there's no reason to spend money on that um, the car is running it's driving great, it does great pulls, clutch is holding up, I'm super excited about it. eBay clutch, I like it. Kugo's over here bringing out his stuff. I gotta say he was just blowing the driveway with this thing and it's awesome. I don't have a leaf problem, but if you do, you need to get one of these because it's portable, you just put a, a battery on it and it works really well. Since you guys last saw the G, it got some BC Forge wheels. Those are HCS 21S. Um, they're modular two-piece wheels. They are eight, 19 by 10 in the front, plus 22. Yes, plus 22. And then in the rear is 19 by 10 and a half, plus 32. That 10 millimeter offset difference kind of um, offsets the uh, size of the rim. Uh, we tried to maximize it as much as possible. It is a rear wheel drive vehicle and if it does get the 2J that I want to put in it, you want to be able to put that power down um, while driving it across, you know, to Georgia, states and things like that. This is, this car for me is the car I want to drive to like trips and things like that. That's the whole point of it being a four door. It's going to be like uh, a grand tour car, something in style, but with power and comfortability. The wheels are really dirty right now, but uh, when we're done, they'll be clean. I really like them. You can choose the concave in them, and you can choose how big your cup can be. In this case, there is none. Um, I just wanted as much concave as possible. You can see it from the front really well. There's a lot of concave, front and rear. I'm not no fancy person with like perfect fitment. It's, it's really nice fitment. It's definitely kind of in the body. Um, I wanted it like that because I wanted it to be able to travel the full way and if you, we actually compress this, it actually tucks rim which means it has like 60 millimeters of travel if not more on a DS series BC Racing uh, coilover and it is super comfortable with like four people in the car full of bags. We've taken it on trips before. You can see better on this side of the front that it's more tucked into the fender. It could have more poke but I wanted it like this because it's already pushing on the fender lip at angle when it uh, the suspension travels, it does push on it. So, um, you know, you gotta kinda give way 
uh, between comfort and looking awesome. And I'm not a stancy boy. I'm just like, uh, I want it to look okay, but drive great. Since the last time I also got these headlights, they're an eBay purchase. They were like 170 bucks or something like that. I am really happy with them. I have fitted them with LEDs top and rear and uh, RGBs in the side for the um, city driving. Uh, I really like them. They're black housing. They kind of go well. Uh, even with the new paint that I, I already got, it should go very well. The front bumper I found on Craigslist. Actually, one of my friends uh, messaged it to me and they thought it was a great deal. And the person that owned it, I don't think knew what he had. It is actually a Nismo bumper. Um, they don't really have these around here much. Only like a, a quarter of the cars made had these bumpers. Uh, I really like it because the other uh, the other two choices are the 0506, which kind of has a bigger hole and it's in a different style. This has more of a uh, Nismo feel to it, and it has this uh, beveled down like this, which I really really like. Cool part about the bumper is I got it for sixty dollars. The guy did not know what he had. Um, he wanted like 150 and I was gonna pay that because he's going for like $300 and uh, He ended up telling me, you know when I showed up there He didn't tell me that it had this crack right here at the end and I was like, well I don't know what to do with that. It's not a clean bumper like you said it was and he's like I actually didn't notice it and I was like, well, I'm leaving and he's like, well, what do you want to pay for it? And I said I'll give you $60 and he's like take it and I only paid $60 for this small bumper that has a small crack but I have a friend that says he can plastic weld it back together. I know a lot of you are wondering why the car has different color fenders and trunk. Well, this car used to have a wing on it and I did not like it at all. I hate the wing on these cars. I want the nice smooth line. And so I ended up purchasing another G35 with a blown engine for $500, $600. And um, I ended up taking the trunk off that car and I also took the fenders off of it because one of my fenders was kind of messed up so I wanted new fenders as well and I just took these three parts off that's it that's all I took I put the ones on this car on that car and I sold it again for $600 I didn't lose any money and I gained the part actually I lost gas because I had to deliver the, the car to the person but that was it that it was definitely worth it for me the car is gonna get a whole new paint job um, the paint is a BMW color. I don't have it with me. I will show it to you eventually in the next video or so um, I want to actually do it myself me and John uh, me and Justin and I want to show you guys How we did it and how we did, got that process done um, But I want to ask you guys to comment below if I should keep my roof Black or if I should paint it the same color as the rest of the car. I, I haven't made up my mind I really like the black roof um, it just kind of the, the roof is the one that gets most of the imperfections usually and The black kind of hides it all but I don't know. I think the same color would be better um, Me and my friends all have kind of different ideas if you want to give me your suggestions. I'd like to consider them Thank you. What are you doing now Google? What you got here? So I'm just getting all my chemicals prepped um, I do uh, I don't stick to just one brand I do move around with different brands try different different things out just to make sure you know what's gonna be pretty good and what at the end of the day what's gonna make me more money so. I like how you have all these bottles that are all the same but I'm assuming you know what's in which yeah uh, so oh, they're labeled right here yeah I have labels on them some of them I are kind of messed up but yeah if you know what it is then it's, that's important yeah. so Kugo says he does the wheels first yeah so what I always do is I always do the wheels first just because I don't want to put water onto the paint even though we are covered by these two oak trees uh, we don't want to create water spots uh, on the paint yeah. if you were to clean the car first and then the wheels after like even most people do. Marco wants to take care of this paint because he's gonna eventually paint over it but we still want to conserve this paint as much as possible. Yeah. So right now I do a combo this is a degreaser that I use to clean the tires and then I have um, a, a chemical that's des designed specifically to clean and remove all the brake dust that you see on here. Um, it'll go on clear and then as, as it breaks down, it'll turn purple. Oh, as you can, shoot. As you can kind of see it already working. Oh, it smells funky too. Yeah. So this is uh, Adam's deep wheel cleaner. 
or what they call wheel cleaner now. I've heard of that guy, Adam. Yeah. So. Wow, are, it's like real purple now. Yeah. That looks like a purple wheel. Yeah. That's crazy, it's getting darker. Oh my God, did you just paint my rim? Is that what you just did, did you just dye it? Do you guys think I should get purple wheels? I think it looks better. Ryan Little. <laughs> Larry Casillas from Ammo NYC. He actually sourced these from, uh, I believe they're made in Germany. But this is a boar's hair brush with a really stout, like full metal, uh, full wood. Now that the wheels are done, these are basically the most important part of this car. It's my favorite piece. We also did the barrels, I don't know if you noticed. So, very clean. Next is Josh's uh, foam cannon. Put this in the middle of the video right now. Josh does do detailing here in Orlando. It's, uh, his business is called Perfect by Design. It is, uh, he does it here out of his house. I'm gonna put his Instagram on the description if you wanna hit him up. To clean your car or motorcycle or whatever you want truck uh, fleet vehicle just hit them up What'd you put on it? So I put on, um, there's a product by PNS, a company called PNS, and it's called Bee Maker. So it's a spray on sealant, but the formula that they have, it just makes the, besides that it gives that protection, it just gives it the paint, just like a feel of, you just polished it. So the bad thing about cleaning and washing your car is that it starts showing all the imperfections. You can see all the scratch marks on the bumper, you can see all the scratch marks on the fender, there, right there. You can see the dents on the hood from ha hail here in Florida because it rains a lot in the summer. The good thing is now you have a clean car, it looks better when you drive down the road and if you apply the stuff that he's applying on and if you actually, if you buff it or do any kind of other sealant, it's better for your next time you're going to wash it, it just wipes right off. And if you have good paint, it protects it, which takes me to my next topic when am I painting the G Kuko just asked me and I wanted to tell you guys I'm gonna paint it soon um, I just finished the Z uh, the s13 has a bad fuel pump and the van has a coolant leak I got to fix a coolant leak on the van because that's important then the fuel pump in the s13 and then this will get the paint job I already have the paint I have everything I need I just need the time to do all the body work on this it has a lot of imperfections and things that we have to fix um, including where Taylor hit me years ago or a year ago um, we did kind of bang it all out and straighten it out as much as possible it you can barely see it but it does have waves in it so we have to fix it a little more little bondo little cleaning obviously the paint in the trunk is also not very good and uh, in other places like up to that pillar it's gonna need a lot of work and paint comes out better 80% of the time, 90% of the time in prep work. The more prep work you do, the better the paint job looks. Yes, paint brand matters. Yes, the paint material or what it's made out of matters. Like all that stuff matters. But 80% of a good paint job 
is prep work and body work. Next, we're gonna vacuum in here. And I wanted to show you guys a little more about my interior. I ended up getting this uh, Sony AX100 radio. I really, I'm really happy with it. This plastic trim, it was actually $200. It's crazy. It replaces the vents and everything. So you have to buy the whole thing. And the radio was 200 and that was 200, which is, it adds up, man, that's a lot. There's two things wrong with my interior. One, this right here is falling off. I've kind of thought about gluing it, but I'm scared because I don't know what I'm doing with interior. I might try it, otherwise I'm gonna have somebody else do it. And then my seat is ripping and just the driver's seat. But that is pretty much it. The rest is immaculate and I love that aspect of this car. As per usual, the back seat is a mess. I love how I have my little extenders here for adjusting my suspension. And uh, I have to kind of clean a little more and then we're gonna vacuum. Along with the radio, I ended up getting a amplifier and a subwoofer. This is the stock location for your Bose subwoofer, it's an eight inch. This has a JBL 800 and this is a 600 watt Walmart amplifier that I bolted in the stock location of the Bose amplifier. We just kind of used some PVC piping to space it out there and just bolted it on. That way it's away and we have all this room down here and it hits really good. I'm really happy with this. There's my S13 in the background. 30's all that I got, nigga. Time's up. Got my coins up, my bars up. So we find them. We gon' slide them. We line them. Swipe it kind of. Pistol grip, I got them kinds of. I'm not your driver. Shot go hit him. He won't answer. I'm nigga. Love up. Shoot to the head. Fuck. I'm sick of school. Pop the number. Pressing the box. Pressing the box. I didn't even know 350Z's, well not 350Z's, G35 sedans came with this. It's a first aid kit and it's by Infinity. It's so cool. I, someone told me about, Noah actually told me about this recently. I didn't even know I had one. Check this out. It goes right here. I didn't even know that was in there. That's perfect for people like me that work on cars all the time. Ryan Little. <laughs> So this is gonna be it for this video. Um, I'm glad you guys clicked it, you enjoyed it. The G35 has a lot that's gonna be happening in the future with it. Um, yes, we are doing a 2J. Uh, I wanna make a great, comfortable, fast sedan. That is my goal with this car. And I'm glad you guys are here for the ride and uh, see the progress with it. Thank you guys for asking so much about it. And if you have any other questions uh, about in particular about the car, you can comment below or uh, go in my Instagram and comment on there. I want to thank Kuko for, his name is Josh. I call him Kuko, by the way. Um, I want to thank him for helping me with this. He always cleans the car. I'd never actually show it to you guys. So I figured to make a video and show you his expertise and how he does this. I'm pretty excited with it. It looks amazing. So uh, thank you so much. And uh, his Instagram is below. You can hit him up if you want to detail your car as well here in Orlando. And thank you guys for liking, watching, subscribing. Please share. Thank you. Goodbye.